how do you actually be healthy and fit instead of tracking calories and only tracking macros? Is this truly healthy? If you are already tracking calories, then I believe that you've already fallen off course. You have maybe had a slightly imbalance in your calorie intake. Now tracking calories or macros is a measured approach when you're trying to achieve a certain body fat percentage or a certain body composition. But overall health itself, first of all, starts from your mindset, starts from the head. There's an old Chinese proverb which says, the fish stinks from the head down. This basically means that if your head is not in the right place, then your body isn't gonna be in the right place. So first of all, understanding what healthy is all about. So healthy is about healthy mindset, the way you think every single day, uh, your perspective, your views on things that you see around you. So for instance, you could be driving through a country lane and there are horses and obviously horses do leave their natural scent behind in the air. Now for some people, they might say, ah, the smell of nature. And other people, do you smell it? That smell, the kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells smelly. So it is all a matter of perspective, all a matter of mindset and how you take things in. If your mind is healthy, then everything else would follow. Some kind of physical activity is amazing for the body. Like you don't necessarily have to go to the gym. That is just one out of many things that you could do to keep physically active. I think naturally the body wants to be physically active. And when you start to do some kind of physical activity, your body rewards you for it by giving you that happy feeling. that's another part of being healthy and fit. So the next part is your nutritional intake. Now, what you've got to understand is, it's not just about eating food, it's about eating food that has nutrition. There are a lot of foods which are on the shelf now which are totally stripped from its nutrition and it just has a great flavor and that is it. And when it comes to processing it, the body has a great deal of issues in trying to digest it and finding any quality from it. These days, people eat food, there's no nutritional value in it, so your body gets rid of it and before you know it, you're hungry again. Why? Because there was no value the first time around. So your body is like, okay, could you give us some food now? And you end up eating more and eating more and eating more because so much food which are on the shelf today is geared towards people's taste buds, geared towards getting people to purchase more of the same products to get no real value from it. What I would say to you is to focus more on nutritional value. If you can get organic foods, then fantastic. If you can't, then just opt for whole foods. Foods where you are cooking stuff from scratch. This is where you're going to get most of the micronutrients. So the vitamins and the minerals, things which are going to help your body to repair and to protect you from any kind of free radicals, any germs, viruses, that type of thing. This is, this is kind of like an overall health perspective. So mindset, having a balanced nutritional diet, which comes from whole foods, and also physical movement. We're talking about training or just some kind of physical activity. It can be anything, like if you do rowing, ab sailing, swimming, aerobics, any kind of weight training, whatever you feel works for you, just find some kind of physical activity to get you moving. Um, I think I would say that is pretty much the, the pyramid of health and fitness.